right here would have been the ocean and over there the shoreline and that's where they found the dinosaur. They say because of the skin and the teeth, it's one of the great dinosaur discoveries. The Inland Sea, they call it, the Cretaceous Sea. It goes all the way up into Canada and it covered Kansas, where I live. Ellen Dietrich lives and breathes the dinosaurs. But his most recent discovery on a ranch east of Jordan is unlike any he's ever found before. A complete scientific specimen has to be 20% real dinosaur bone. This is way over that. 65 million years ago, this dinosaur laid down at a shoreline. Dietrich's latest dinosaur find is an Edmontosaurus, which he estimates measured 35 feet from nose to the tip of the tail. The Garfield County Museum has a replica of an Edmontosaurus skull on display. But what makes this discovery so unique is the skin is fossilized, providing rare insight into this creature. Dietrich believes the dinosaur may have been able to change the color of its skin like a chameleon from orange to something else offering protection from predators. It was filet mignon. We have nicknamed this Peking duck. You know, that's quality food, Peking duck. And, you know, the reason we do that is because, like, kids like to call these Edmontosaurus, duckbell dinosaurs. Dietrich has sold dinosaurs to museums in the U.S., Europe, and Asia. He also found eight teeth that he says belong to a predator. All this adds value and the opportunity for studying dinosaurs. We would probably rode over horseback. Didn't know it was there because we're out here looking for cows like that. The discovery was made near rancher Bobby Kerr's property, and he's been helping move dirt for the paleontologists. They sit there in 100 degree heat all day with a little pick and scrape and scratch and get the dirt moved away. A tedious and sometimes uncomfortable career, but one Dietrich says he wouldn't trade for anything thanks to discoveries like this. It's the beauty of the country and the people and the mystery of, of these creatures that lived here millions of years ago. In Jordan, David J. MTN News.